Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Laura and today I'm going to be doing my November favorites video. This is going to be a really short one guys, I don't have that much stuff to share with you. Honestly, a lot of this month was spent driving to and from Toronto, so it did involve a lot of makeup wearing. However, I've got some really good things in here and yeah, I can't wait to share them with you. So let's start with makeup. One thing I've been loving this month that's pretty new to me is the um, Ardell Glamour Lashes. These are the 105s, and they're pretty fluffy. Um, I wore these... Jeez. I wore these to the St. Andrew's Ball on November 28th. I'd worn them before that as well. They're just great for really glamorous, smoky eyes. They really enhance your lashes, and they look really nice, and they're super inexpensive. So I have been loving these in the month of November. This might have been in last month's favorites, I'm not sure, and honestly I didn't check before I did this video, but I've been loving still the Maybelline Master Prime Primer Base. This is the 100 Blur and Smooth, and I use this every single day. Even if I'm just putting powder on my face, I use this first so that the powder has something to stick to. It keeps my powder, my foundation, and my concealer in place. It's not obnoxious smelling or obnoxious feeling. It's just a really, really nice primer, and it's super cheap because it's from the drugstore, so I love this. A couple of H&M products that I've been loving. No surprises since I've been having just a love affair with H&M. The first is the H&M Brow Specialist. This is in the shade Espresso Brown, and what's really nice about this is it has a spoolie on one end that gets covered in your makeup bag so it doesn't get germs, and then the other end has this really nice brow pencil. And the pencil is pretty soft. Um, it's not creamy or anything, but it's not super hard, so you can get a really nice bold brow without too much effort. And the best part is it's nice and ashy, so it doesn't look too fake. I've been having a moment with bold brows recently, and this has definitely been the factor in that. Another H&M product that I've been loving is this. This is their eyeshadow in Sun Worship, and I wore this to the St. Andrews Ball as well. It's just a beautiful shade. It's kind of gold. I don't know. I'm not really sure how to explain it. It's just very unique. It's gold. It's got a little bit of almost olive in there, a little bit of brown, and it's just stunning. This isn't just swatched. If I want to amplify that metallic finish that it has, I use it with a little bit of Fix Plus, and it just looks amazing. I've got it swatched on my hand now, and I just can't get over it. It's a beautiful shade. These eyeshadows are formulated so well, and I just... I love it. The last makeup item I have for you is actually a really new one, but I'm already loving it. I've been using it every day for almost a week and a half now, and I have a full review going up on my blog, but I just, I love this so much, and it's the e.l.f. blush palette. This is the light one, and it's got four really nice blushes. That is just one of the shades swatched. They're really pigmented, and they're really nice, and... They are $6 regular priced. I got mine for three um, in a sale. I just love it. I'll link my last video where I hauled this. And I know I haven't had it for that long, but I, I love it so much already. All right, on to body care. The first thing that I have been loving is the Body Shop's hand creams. This is the glazed apple scent um, from their Christmas line. I have a whole bunch of these. I bought glazed apple, frosted plum, frosted cranberry, and I had a coconut one from a while ago. They're just really good quality. They smell really nice, they sink into your hands nicely, and they leave your hands really nice and moisturized. This is the time of year where I get dry, cracked hands, and this has been a lifesaver. I take it everywhere I go. And then another thing I've been loving is the secret, um, what is this? The Clinical Strength Invisible Solid Deodorant. This is the stress response one. Um, there's also going to be a full review of this up on my blog, so definitely check that out because it goes more into depth about why I love this so much, but basically it just works really well, and I never have a problem with being the smelly kid, so lifesaver right here. I do have one hair care favorite this month, and that's the John Frieda Frizzy's Secret Weapon Touch-Up Cream with Avocado Oil. I have loved this for so long, and I thought about it the other day, and I don't think I actually have put it into a video yet. I wore this in my hair to the St. Andrew's Ball because I left my hair natural, I didn't know what to do with it, and it was so frizzy because of the season just drying my hair out. This 
took away all that frizz, made my hair look so nice and shiny and healthy, and I love it. It was a lifesaver in the summer. It's a lifesaver if you use a lot of dry shampoo and your hair gets kind of dry, but you want to touch it up and make it look nice. It's just so good. I definitely recommend this. I have a candle favorite this month, and it's a new one that you haven't heard of before on my channel. It's the Frosted Cranberry Candle from Bath & Body Works, and this is really nice. It's not too sweet, but it's sweet enough, and it just smells really good. Definitely give it a sniff if you're in the store. I'm not good at describing scents. I don't think anybody really is, but this is definitely worth looking at and picking up. Believe it or not, I have a fashion favorite this month. Oh, I have two. I forgot one. Hold on. The first is something I've had for a while. I'm sure you can still get similar ones. And it's this belt from Fossil. And it's this really nice kind of reddish brown leather with a beautiful kind of um, brass rose with little um, crystals inlaid in it. I'm sure you can see this. Anyway... Fossil belts are really good quality. They're really expensive, but I bought this one at Winners for like next to nothing compared to what it should have been. And I've just been wearing it constantly. It's a little bit different, something to add to an outfit. And despite what my 16 year old self would have thought, I like wearing belts. I never used to wear them and now I wear them more often. So this one has managed to worm its way into my daily outfits. And then I've been in love with this um, headband. It's got this beautiful like beading on the front and then this part goes around your head and over your ears and I swear it is so warm but it's not as warm as a hat. I just love it. I think it's great. I'm not sure what the brand is. Let me find out. The brand is Charlie Page and this cost me about 20 bucks. It was not cheap but it's so worth it and I've just been loving it so much. And then from that same store, I bought a new blanket scarf. I actually get one there every year because they always have the nicest scarves in the world. I bought a red and white checked one last year. I bought this one this year, and my boyfriend actually went and bought his mom one when we were visiting my parents because they're just so nice. And then one final favorite. This doesn't really fall into any category, but I've been loving Millie Murata's Animal Kingdom coloring book, but this is the postcard size one. I do have the big one. Um, and it's great. I love it so much. But the colors are huge to draw. Like, I haven't finished that one yet. And this is harder to carry around. This one here is just nice and purse-sized. Purse so I can throw together this and a double-ended pack of eight pencil crayons into my purse. And I can color in the car, on the bus, um, waiting for lectures to start. Anytime I feel a little bit stressed. So I carry this everywhere. I've done maybe a quarter of them so far. I'm working on this one right now. This has been great for de-stressing, keeping my mood up, and it's going to make a nice little gift for someone when they receive them all in the mail. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for my November favorites. I know it was a little short, but I hope you still enjoyed it. I had some really great things in here this month. I will not be doing a December favorites. I will be doing a 2015 favorites, however, so stay tuned for that at the end of... December. Um, please check out my blog and subscribe to my channel if you want to. It really means a lot when new people subscribe and I will see you soon with another video. Bye!